Doug's Sports Cut. There are many places like Doug's Sports Cut in Goshen. You can get a shampoo cut and shave. The Babe Ruth stuff is incredible. Or find an autograph from Ruth, Maris, or Mays. I wanted to open up a card store and I wanted to open up another barber shop. And then in 30 seconds it came to me, my shop here, and I was going to call it Home Plate Hairstyling. But my wife talked me into Doug's Sports Cut and I'm glad I went with that. <laughs> Doug Schaefer opened his doors in 1989. Doug's Sports Cut's rookie year happened to coincide with the big leaguers opening season. Sammy, say it ain't Sosa. Not even a year after I opened, well that's when the summer of Sammy Sosa, his rookie cards come out and that's where I was reading about him having blazing speed, rocket arm and lots of power and then it said that uh, in another article that he was sending his paycheck back to the Dominican Republic. So I knew that he was hungry. That's his best rookie card. As hungry as Sosa was to make it in the big leagues, Doug was hungry for the Slugger's rookie cards. I bought 500 from this guy, 1,000 from this guy, until I got up to 11,000 cards. Did anybody else think you were crazy? A lot of people did, yeah. Tops, Fleer, Upper Deck, you name the brand, Doug has it. And they're in near perfect condition after sitting untouched in a lockbox at the bank for nearly 30 years. 172 Fleer. But now, Doug believes it's time to sell. And it all started with Michael Jordan, The Last Stand, that series for nine or ten weeks. Basketball cards then just went nuts. And then that was followed up by the 30-30 show with Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa. So now's probably a good time to sell these. Would you classify yourself as an opportunist, a, a good capitalist? Maybe all the above. The Sosa rookie cards in mint condition are currently valued to sell for as much as $175 each, with the ones in slightly worse condition still valued at 40 bucks. Is it, is it difficult to see these cards go? No. No, because when I opened here, I had to decide if I was going to be a collector or a seller. I decided I'd like to sell rather than hang on to these forever and give them to my kids. Yeah, I'd rather have the money now. When's enough enough? Adam Darangowski, WSBT 22 Sports. Almost a thousand.